Um, good morning uh, to to uh, to the West uh, audience. Uh, good afternoon to uh, to 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 the East one. My name is Dennis Sabotin, and I'm the uh, business development director of uh, Green Echo Investments. I'm here with my colleague um, Andrei Ptishnikov. He is our natural based solution project director. And today um, we're going to be talking about. Uh, our company, what's our strategy, what's the challenges we're facing, what are the solutions we potentially obtain. Um, firstly, I would like to, to, to welcome the audience. I would like to thank the uh, stakeholders for organizing such an event. It's actually our third time being here. I hope, hopefully, hopefully it won't be our last. Hopefully we're not that annoying to anyone here, but yeah, welcome again. Um, first of all, Yep, common slide. I think we're all aware. What is it? Some sort of ready greetings when you know when someone is presenting uh, the 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 project or the company that is uh, that is aiming at um, the carbon neutrality. It's obviously the global issues that we all facing due to the fact that um um, um that uh, population of this uh, wonderful planet. Uh, it's not like they no one really cared, but like no one really was um um was analyzing the actual issue that 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 we potentially can face and now we're here you know and now we 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 are setting very strict goals in terms of the achieving the carbon neutrality so pretty sure everyone is aware what's the current status is what is the paris agreement not going to be spending a lot of time on here um this is just a um common slide again which countries when they're trying to achieve the carbon neutrality you can see Brazil, you can see uh, North America, China, you know, parts of Africa, Russia, pretty much, uh, you know, everyone, uh, if we're talking generally, every, everyone is setting their goal to achieve carbon neutrality by, by some sort of 2050, 2060-ish. Obviously, it is a challenge for all of us, for all the countries, for all the corporations to do so, because it's a completely, it, it is, it is a, you know, new old market because uh, carbon market has been around for for over two decades. But you know, no one really was you know paying attention to it. I'm pretty sure there are, there are people you know who were actually been working on it already. But you know, it's it's became a it's became a stream not just just last year, maybe two years ago when people just start analyzing what the issue is and you know doing moving forward towards the achieving achieving you know the short term goals and the carbon neutrality or at least carbon reductions with that case yeah just uh, just a little overview of our company we've been um yeah as um as i mentioned uh, in the previous uh, previous conferences that have been held last year we've been you know we've been invented in uh, in uh, in, uh, in uh, may 2021 and uh, it was during the St. Petersburg Economic Forum where we pretty much outlined our strategy, our mission, and uh, what exactly we'll be facing it. Talking about the key areas of our operations, where we actually, um, you know, what are the uh, our um, 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 goals and contributions? Yeah, that's the um, uh, natural based solution projects, aka climate projects. Um, Andre will walk you uh, through a bit more thoroughly what exactly we're doing, what kind of projects we have, what challenges we're facing. So I'm not really gonna be sticking to that for a long time. We have asset-based projects, you know, um, we're trying to, we're not looking, we're not only specifying our company on a, on a forestry, on a agriculture or a wetlands, peatlands. We're also looking at the different, you know, um, 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 biofuels projects since, uh, since, um, because uh, our company is a part of uh, one holding that is be uh, belongs to one person, and uh, our holding is uh, mainly coming from the oil and gas oil and gas uh, industry, and uh, and uh, obviously you know um, um, we 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 cannot just um, uh, we cannot just ignore the fact that this is one of the most uh, um, polluting industry in entire uh, an entire world. So some of the projects that we're doing they're obviously you know uh, challenging. This industry, in order to reduce the CO two emissions, um, talking about the technologies, um, um, you know, it's it's, it's not going to be a surprise for anyone, but West is uh, is actually 
being uh, more developed uh, than Russia, for instance, um, um, in, in technologies and in, uh, in even like understanding what exactly needs to be done. Um, um, so what, what we're trying to do here with regards to technologies, we're trying to, we're trying to find best technology uh, solutions that can be used as a tool uh, to, 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 to CO2 reductions, you know, to coming the carbon neutral. And we're, what we're trying to do uh, at the end of, um, you know, at the end of, you know, bringing actually to Russia, because we're trying to, as I, as I mentioned, we're trying to choose best technologies we try to implement them in Russia and see see if, if it's actually going to be working. So here, we're, what I'm trying to say, we're also uh, we're not only developers of our own projects or operators. We we also you know invest in, into into the different companies. We have a we have a, a quite good portfolio where where we invested uh, as an equity, and hopefully we will be able to find you know more and more. Uh, interesting projects more solution to do so in the future and um, lastly uh, we have uh, marketing and trading we have our office located in London uh, we have a we have a carbon desk there we we started off trading on uh, on uh, EU ETS compliance market so far uh, we started doing in a, in a, in May when the company was invented um, so far our turnover is around 150 million euros, uh, with a profit made as well. But we're not we're not just you know sticking to one market. We're expanding. We we now started trading uh, in uh, American CS as well. We're we're trying to get in uh, into Asian market. So hopefully by by the uh, the mid of this year, you know we we're also going to have a strong portfolio in terms of our trading. Well, without said all. Um, my my job huh, uh, is done for now here. I'm passing over to Andre, uh, and uh, he will walk you through. Uh, uh, he will walk you through our climate projects a bit more thoroughly. So, Andre, please. Uh, thank you, Denis. Um, I hope you will also uh, move the slides. Um, uh, sure. Just, uh, hello. Uh, good afternoon, and um, would like to say a few words about uh, our uh, Nature Climate Solution Program. So uh, it's uh, uh, just, um, you know, we are uh, placing our project in Russia, uh, mostly in, in the boreal forest. Uh, boreal forests are uh, the largest uh, land uh, biome. Uh, it's mainly coniferous forest stretching from the Baltic Sea to Pacific. Uh, it has uh, quite a big value in the sense of um, biodiversity, in the sense of uh, greenhouse gases sequestration uh, and um, ecosystem services. Next slide, please. Uh, so uh, there are uh, different uh, estimate on uh, the uh, sequestration capacity of Russia forest. Uh, the official um, estimation is uh, that the um, positive balance uh, uh, of the Russian forest is 600 55 million tons per year uh, and uh, it's uh, this uh, um, is reported uh, to unite uh, to UNFCC and um, it is based on a kind of official data uh, the data which are um, based on the land uh, forest inventory the data based on remote sensing show us the highest um, the much higher uh, figure up to 2 billion tons uh, positive balance. So its sequestration is more than emissions. Uh, there are different estimates. Uh, what is the um, volume of this sequestration is possible to uh, use in the climate project or to monetize? Uh, there is a KPMG, for example, uh, estimate um, and uh, another estimate, uh, and uh, it is uh, about 360 million tons is um, uh, of uh, sequest uh, just either it's an emission reduction program or increasing uh, sequestration uh, absorption program uh, it is um, possible to um, use uh, uh, up to the uh, you know co self cost of abatement cost uh, up to uh, 50 
uh, US dollars per uh, verified carbon unit. Um, there are some smaller estimations like of NGOs like WWF, which is maybe three times less, but anyway, the potential for uh, implementation of a uh, course and carbon project is quite big, is very significant. Next slide. Uh, we uh, are uh, just um, uh, working in uh, uh, five uh, direction in nature climate uh, solutions. It's uh, afforestation. Uh, in Russia, there is a um, significant area of lands in the south of Russia uh, where uh, afforestation uh, is uh, very important um, to um, increase uh, productivity of agriculture, and it's also provide a good afforestation. Uh, yeah, it also pro provides good sequestration of carbon. Uh, we are working also on the peatland uh, revetting, and we have couple starting couple of projects on that issue um, with uh, peatlands of the size like uh, about two, three thousand hectares each. Uh, we are working on forest conservation uh, or avoiding emission from um, um, deforestation uh, projects, um, uh, either through uh, just cooperation with forest companies or uh, with uh, uh, just uh, simply uh, we uh, are in the process to lease uh, some forest uh, to avoid uh, and uh, to protect uh, the forest and avoid deforestation. Improved forest management, uh, we are discussing with forest companies uh, uh, to start a project. And this is uh, just uh, the main uh, area of our work. Next slide, please. Uh, so here is uh, just the presentation uh, of uh, the payback period. Uh, the figures, uh, yes, uh, the, the figures seems uh, very optimistic. Uh, and we also think it's a little bit uh, optimistic um, figures. Uh, but anyway, uh, we uh, think that uh, taking into account the current uh, um, investment, uh, um, needed uh, to run this project, uh, we believe that, um, yes, the payback period is, uh, uh, is not so long uh, like it uh, may be in other countries with maybe higher uh, cost of uh, work, uh, higher cost of um, maybe uh, some uh, uh, implementation, project implementation, and uh, we believe that um, this, uh, uh, at least um, uh, forestry projects, uh, forestry projects uh, seems quite very profitable. Thanks. Next slide. Uh, what is uh, uh, just uh, one of the challenge we are working is uh, really to provide some amendments to uh, regulation um, and uh, to ensure that the necessary uh, legislation is in place. Um, at the moment, um, Russia only has uh, uh, made the first steps. Uh, so the, uh, the very important law on greenhouse gases emission reduction was adopted only last year. Uh, the uh, strategy of um, the um, carbon neutral development uh, of uh, the low emission, uh, low carbon development of Russia was adopted only in uh, October uh, last year. And um, now the government is preparing the uh, roadmap for implementation of this uh, strategy of low carbon development of Russia. So as uh, you may know that Russia would like to reach carbon neutrality to the year 2060. And many, uh, many um, activities are planned in the forest sector. Forest cover two thirds of Russia and its largest area of uh, forest globally. It's about 20% uh, of uh, global forest resources in the sense of um, volume of uh, uh, forest resources and the sense of area. Uh, so, um, and uh, we believe that um, um, this uh, forest uh, offsets uh, will be used by the Russian industry, which will require uh, these offsets for their decarbonization programs. And it part of, uh, of course, uh, offsets may be traded internationally. Next slide. 
so um, our um, um, okay, uh, just uh, it was one question: uh, Who is investing in your projects? Uh, okay, so at the moment um, we have uh, we are developing partnership. Uh, so we invest themselves, and we are developing partnership with uh, the companies interested to reduce their uh, carbon footprint uh, as a co-investor. So uh, I cannot open the name, but uh, there are several uh, several partnerships uh, in the pipeline. Uh, we cannot uh, announce uh, that uh, still uh, because um, you know uh, we didn't. Uh, yet started uh, practical implementation but um, of the projects but uh, i hope uh, during this year it will be some information on this subject yeah uh, and andre if if i may add also if you yes. don't mind with regards uh, this question um the the as andre said yeah we cannot disclose the names of the companies however they're not only russians we we, we are in a conversations with a large uh, companies from large industries uh, from all over the world and uh, as andre said um uh, since we since we haven't really started any practical steps and uh, we are outlining the the all like the timeline of, of the projects and etc etc uh, we, we 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 cannot get into the more details but yes the, it's not only russian companies there they're interesting. Uh, they're that are interested in um, pa uh, partnering up with us, but also the the worldwide. Okay, so um, I think uh, a Russian for, uh, forest carbon initiative uh, is uh, the way to address important uh, climate issues, and it's um, unique because of the scale of the project we can offer. Uh, we are working, uh, we have uh, like uh, uh, MOUs with the governors of uh, four uh, Russian regions. It's uh, each Russian region is the size of European country. Uh, and uh, we are working um, on, um, on the regional level. Uh, we are working um, with, with uh, forest industry, uh, about uh, 100, 180 a million hectare of forest are in the lease in Russia by uh, for forest management, and uh, there are some programs where we are developing with um, forest companies. There are some programs we are developing with uh, agricultural holdings uh, and farmers, uh, especially in the south of Russia, in the south of European part of Russia, and south of Siberia. Uh, so uh, this uh, yes, uh, the scale of um, uh, the scale of the program uh, is. Uh, large uh, and um, we believe that it uh, will bring uh, necessary results so it's uh, just as example uh, we have uh, signed mous uh, with uh, two main yaroslav kostroma and perm region and um, we have a, a project in two main region of lease uh, of forest for uh, conservation not for logging but for conservation and we should start uh, this project uh, maybe in one two months uh, we have a wetland restoration project in Nizhny Novgorod, and then the new one is in Perm region. Uh, so we are uh, believed to start also within um, a few months. Next slide, please. Actually, that's it for us here. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's our presentation. I think there is a new question coming over. Uh, uh, I, think it's can, I can answer if uh, uh, just uh, how you are measuring uh, biodiversity. Yes, uh, it's a good question. Um, first of all, uh, for uh, some project, uh, biodiversity is important. Uh, for example, then we work with uh, forest company. We are working uh, only with FSC certified companies uh, where, uh, you know, there is a uh, uh, assessment of uh, their impact uh, of um, biodiversity and where the companies should protect biodiversity according to principle six and nine of FSC. Uh, then we are working with uh, forest, uh, with uh, sorry, agricultural companies. We are looking for uh, not only for you know um, highly uh, fast growing species, but also for uh, you know biodiversity because it's. Uh, a forestation project uh, where we're also looking for a variety of species so it's not a single species but variety of species 
species uh, afforestation projects. Uh, for wetlands, uh, it's um, uh, of course, then uh, we are uh, just planning elevating of wetlands. It's clearly will be uh, restoration of uh, initial biodiversity. So this is very important. Maybe for some project, we also will apply for Vera uh, CCB um, uh, program as a kind of additional uh, verifier of um, biodiversity and social impact. There is a there is a third question, Andre. How do you monitor and measure the carbon captured at such a large scale? Well, it's uh, just uh, the uh, first of all, uh, we are following Vera methodologies, and um, according to that, uh, the uh, the project uh, each uh, project uh, should uh, establish uh, monitoring uh, of the carbon. And so that's the standard approach. Uh, and um, basically, there are some tools in Russia used uh, different models uh, like Robol and some others, uh, which uh, can be used um, for uh, monitoring, for, uh, for uh, calculating and monitoring uh, the carbon. Uh, as well, uh, we have uh, the cooperation with uh, Tumen University on the use of drones for maybe uh, flux, uh, flux net type of um, the, the projects, uh, but that's uh, more or less uh, experimental. So uh, we, will, uh, we are based on uh, kind of um, just available data from, for example, forest inventory or from different agricultural inventories. And then we uh, add the model, um, we add some field measurements in, in, in the cases uh, when it's uh, required by um, methodology. Uh, I, I would say maybe I would add, I would like to add that uh, we are starting our program. So um, we have um, in Russia, there is uh, it was a previous experience of uh, free forest and climate projects in uh, Kyoto time. Uh, we are working uh, with um, a company from Germany who is uh, um, experienced, uh, who, who uh, already implemented these projects, um, was a project, main project consultant. So we um, just uh, are based on the previous successful experience. Uh, and our approach is um, uh, just, um, is. Uh, uh, how to say it's not our um, own uh, know-how, so it's like more or less based on international experience in that. Okay. Um, uh, I think I think I will answer the uh, question: Are there any carbon credit sharing agreements with the government, or any binding agreements with the government for projects in Russia? Um, the the regulatory status that is uh, is being on right now doesn't have a clear doesn't have a clear explanation in terms of the carbon credits and the ownership of it. However, there, are, there have been successful projects that have been registered under the VERA standard that, uh, that the company who, who developed the climate project uh, actually received the carbon credits fully. However, uh, the, there is a very important thing to understand that since for now there is no, because um, uh, as Andrew mentioned, we're going to be leasing out the forest and there are 16 different types uh, for leasing purposes, uh, starting from the logging and uh, finishing off with the with the uh, non uh, the the, collect the collecting non forestry goods such as I don't know berries, uh, mushrooms, uh, for uh, for medical purposes. And uh, what what needs to be understood that when the when the when the logging companies are leasing out the forest. For, to harvest the trees down, the 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 uh, the regions they're receiving the payment for for this lease, and this is the most expensive type of leasing. Therefore, this is one of the mainstream of revenues for the region. As for now, since uh, since we are uh, implementing the pilot project, uh, we 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 are uh, in a in a discussion of sharing. Uh, with uh, with our personal choice with sharing with the region 
uh, some percentage uh, of, of the carbon credits being obtained? And Andrew, I think you can answer the, uh, the last question asked by Jean-Philippe. Okay, Dennis, I will also add that um, uh, on the level of uh, government, at the moment, uh, there is a discussion in Russia. Government uh, would like to set up uh, uh, the register of the climate project. And um, uh, we are uh, working with government that uh, um, this uh, list of the project, which is eligible for this uh, uh, National Climate Register, include all uh, relevant uh, climate projects. Uh, because frankly speaking, uh, some forest authorities, they would like to, you know, incorporate projects which have uh, probably, they have silvicultural value, like, um, for example, fight with pest, uh, forest pest fight uh, with forest uh, fires, but uh, mm, we are not sure that, for example, the story of forest pest uh, has a big uh, climate value. So we, we are uh, lobbying for inclusion of uh, our portfolio of the projects, and um, we um, believe that uh, just uh, uh, that will be uh, inclusion in the uh, Russian National Climate Register will be the base of a future uh, corresponding adjustment if the project, if the offsets uh, should be sold internationally. And uh, uh, for the second uh, question of uh, Jean-Philippe, uh, are you considering to use the warming of the Arctic Circle to seed more trees? Well, it's, uh, of course, a, a very <clears throat> interesting and good idea uh, to use the warming of Arctic Circle, but, of course, uh, it is, um, we are preferring to work in the areas where it's uh, the highest productivity of uh, forest, because it brings more carbon units. It's uh, mostly the regions uh, in uh, the south and uh, central part of Russia, south Taiga, south uh, southern boreal forest. So it's our... Uh, uh, focus area. Um, if you can start thinking about yeah, all... um, in terms of yeah, um, uh, it's, it's so we don't have much time left. I mean, uh, I would like to to sum up our meeting and thank uh, thank everyone who attended it. Um, uh, if if there are more questions uh, from the audience, we're happy to discuss it uh, either in the meeting rooms or. Uh, you know, just shoot an email, their email addresses of uh, Andres and mine on our uh, profiles. We will be happy, you know, to, to set up the meetings uh, with you guys, uh, maybe not like today, but at the, sometime at the end of this week or sometime uh, next week, just uh, shoot us an email. And again, thank you very much for everyone for attending it. Thank you to Warren and all the other uh, organizers for, 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 for the possibility to, to attend and obviously to present our company and our operations. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.